You know, some people say that Kid Rock is a, a divisive character. But after releasing this new single called Don't Tell Me How to Live, Kid Rock has managed to do something that's very hard to do these days. And that's unite everybody. Uh, but he has united everybody in laughter at what an out of touch, cringy old fuck that the self-proclaimed devil without a cause has become. Uh, the song, it's, it's a big fuck you to, to cancel culture, millennials, uh, the upcoming quote unquote pussy generation. But uh, rather than coming off as edgy or tough, which is obviously what he's shooting for here, Kid Rock has exposed himself as a guy who his head is so far up his own ass that he's become a caricature of his former self. And the issue is that his former self was already shitty. It was already terrible. And, and, you know, he loves to compare himself to all these big names. You know, even in this song, he refers to himself as being like James Dean or Bruce Springsteen or whatever. This guy is not fit to suck the cock of a Bruce Springsteen roadie, much less be on that level. So look, we're already like at 2022 and this motherfucker's still on snowflakes millennials sticking it to the millennials the millennials are fucking middle-aged now what the fuck these are takes from like five to ten years ago and when you're trying to be edgy the thing about being edgy is you're pushing those limits you know what i'm saying and this is not it it's it's not edgy to drop fucking 10 year old takes if you come at me with snowflake you're throwing up a red flag that you're just you're stuck in that 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 awesome time, you know, the lead up to Trump winning the ultimate victory. And you're stuck in that in that circle. Maybe that was the best time of your life. Maybe that's why you're stuck there. I don't know. But I mean, these are takes that your grandpa drops like at Thanksgiving. But when your shitty old grandpa drops the fucking mashed potatoes and says something terribly racist and fucked up, uh, you know, you just shrug. You say, oh, grandpa, y you know, he, there's no point in talking to him. It's useless. This motherfucker's near death. They're certainly not going to change their mind now. You know, people say as you get older, you become more conservative. I've had that message sent to me on, on other videos. But to me, the thing is, a lot of people, as they get older, they get fucking scared. And that's where a lot of this comes from. It's fear of the new. And with this song... You know, Kid Rock, he's shown himself. He has shown his ass and he has shown himself to be every bit as out of touch as your shitty racist dumb fuck grandpa. Listen, I admit that this is a big hit for Kid Rock. It's generated a shit ton of hits. You know, even if people that's the thing about YouTube, even if people watch your shit because they hate you, it doesn't matter. It's still, they're still watching and it's the hits, they equal cash. That being said, this video made me sad. It's sad because I watch this video. I see a panic stricken prima donna who is just desperately clinging to this persona. Like he's tough and he's awesome and all that shit. I mean, have you seen this motherfucker kid rock without his costume on? Cause that's what it is. Maybe at some point that's how he dressed. You see this man in the world. He looks fucking elderly. He looks like a like a hundred and four year old turtle. And then you take the hundred and four year old turtle and you put some of those like novelty glasses on with like the built in big nose and the mustache and shit. Uh, you know, on top of it, he's got like this crypt keeper hair. It, you know, it's just it looks like like a fucked up 40 year old Barbie that's just had nearly every hair uh, just brushed out of its head. And there's just a few coarse fucked up hairs left. And he's doing all he can to hold on to it. You hide it under your wannabe run DMC hat. It's fucking sad, man. This song, dude, it's like if you had an AI create a song with only Kid Rock CDs and like Fox News clips from 2015 or so to refer to. I, I won't I won't even bother breaking down the lyrics because it's pretty much every Kid Rock song with the tired ass alt-right tropes mixed in. Cause yeah, I mean, think of an old kid rock song. Oh, I'm so fucking awesome. Here's the dumb shit I do. And now you add to it the snowflake and the fake news and all this fucking lame shit. But when you look at this song, the kid rock element of it, who cares? Uh, kid rock's over, dude. I don't give a fuck about it. The world has scoffed 
at this fucking video. You and I know in the comments people are like, "Well, he's got so many hits, and you're jealous and all that shit, dude." To have the world just like me, like he tried so hard. You listen to that fucking thing. He tried so hard to piss people off, and everybody just didn't. A uh, collectively barely gave a fuck. I mean, there wasn't so much outrage as it was just like people fucking with Kid Rock, you know? I mean, you know, Weird Al made the comment. It, I, I don't have the, the tweet in front of me, but it was something about people had commented to him about, oh, great job with that Kid Rock parody. But it was just Kid Rock, which is, you know, my point exactly. The man is a sad, sad shell of his former shitty self. And he's almost not even worth talking about at this point. What's interesting to me there's a uh, there's a, a a Canadian heavy metal band that is getting a huge la backlash. The band is called Monster Truck, and they're the band that completely sold their asses to be in this video. And really, not even so much the band themselves. The the lead singer, a guy by the name of John Harvey, Kid Rock, pretty much ripped off Monster Truck's song, which I believe had the same. Did it have the same name? Uh, I, I just listened to a touch of the Monster Truck song because the entire main hook of it is in the Kid Rock song. But uh, so this guy allowed Kid Rock to basically come in, take his music. And if you listen to John Harvey, the, the whole thing was like, well, I thought it was going to be like a uh, what, what was the song he did with Metallica? Uh, American Badass. He thought it was going to be an American Badass situation where you have the existing song and all that shit. The difference is. When you're talking about American Badass, you're taking an iconic Metallica song that everybody fucking knows and you're laying it under some shitty Kid Rock. It's going to be good no matter what because it's a great fucking Metallica song. In this case, Monster Truck are unknown, essentially. So for Kid Rock to take your music and put it under his lyrics, nobody's going to know that's your fucking song. They're just going to say Kid Rock. Oh, they, check out this awesome new Kid Rock song. But uh, they're I mean, they're taking shit over it. There, there's another Canadian uh, hard rock artist by the name of Danko Jones, and he just lit Monster Truck up with a full-on tweet assault. And uh, here, I'll read a couple of these tweets. And this is, once again, tweets by Danko Jones. Uh, or Danko, I don't fucking know. Disappointed to hear of a certain band on a song with a certain musician who's been so public with his MAGA politics including uttering the phrase fuck Colin Kaepernick during a live performance, it's tantamount to standing in solidarity with him. Gross. You know, it's funny to see like true Canadian rage because people are like, oh, dude, this guy Donko Jones is fucking so pissed. And you read it and he's not even calling out anyone by name. He's in a certain band with a certain band. It's very, uh, it's very nice of him. And another tweet from Donko Jones and the video of them posing as rednecks in fur coats is fucking embarrassing. Disappointed and embarrassed for that band. And here we have yet another tweet from Donko Jones. Just so you know, I don't fuck with bands that buddy up next to a racist POS wearing fur coats, sporting guns, and smoking cigars in the music video, gets that band a lifetime membership in the douchebag hall of fame. Embarrassing. And that's, I mean, that's what you're gonna face because once again, Kid Rock is not who he was. This video, I'm sure it has a lot of hits and all that shit, but you're not hearing it on the fucking radio. It's not anything that's, that's gonna be an actual hit. It's a, it's a meme, it's a meme hit. And it's not even a real, like, worldwide meme. It's a shitty, like, alt-right meme. So John Harvey, lead singer of the band Monster Truck, he has responded by claiming that Donko Jones is just being opportunistic. In an interview uh, on the Loaded Radio podcast, this is John Harvey on the Loaded Radio podcast. When I read the lyrics and everything else, I'm like, okay, crap, here we go. Well, I, it was conflicting because it felt mad and angry. And I'm not, we're, we're not angry guys. We're no, like the fun guys. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, well, this is angry. And I'm like, okay, cool. And he, and even, even, uh, uh, Kira was like, oh, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of mad, but that's the whole thing. The whole thing is to like spice it up and like get mad and things like that. Yeah. Sort of reading through the lyrics and everything else. It's like, I don't know. He's really just kind of talking about himself a lot. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, like any hip hop song would definitely be, sure. yeah. I'm the best. This is what I do. Um, and then he says a couple things like snowflakes and I'm like, well, okay, whatever. That could be taken a, a weird way. Or like, you know, a few little lines here and there. It's a little ruder. I would never. <laughs> yeah. The stuff he says, I'm just like, oh, yeah, my mom is going to hear this song. Right. <laughs> but uh, oh, she's heard it. But um, <laughs> uh, it, it's it's just one of those things where you read it and you're like, well, he's not really, he's, I don't know, he's not really attacking anyone. He's kind of just saying this is who I am and this is what I do, you know? Yeah. So this dude is in full backpedal so okay you've read the lyrics and all that shit you didn't agree with it you felt like it was aggressive and shit like that and he's like oh but that's how all hip-hop is and you're gonna put on the redneck cosplay and all that shit bro either you're full of shit or or you're a complete and utter prostitute selling your ass for a payday i would respect that more if john harvey just said listen bro Money is tight. We're coming off the pandemic. I haven't been able to perform any shit like that. I need some goddamn money. Kid Rock offered me some money to use my song. So I fucking did it. I mean, that's certainly more respectable than the bullshit that John Harvey is peddling here. John Harvey continues. I don't want this to come across the wrong way, but it feels a little opportunistic to me. Mm -hmm. um, it also feels like he's a very angry person. I don't subscribe to that. and I'm not an angry person. No. And to me, it feels like he kind of gets angry about a lot of things. Um, as far as personal attacks go, I've never met this guy in my life. Um, I have no idea what his values are or what his beliefs are, and nor do I care because that's his problem and his business. But he, yeah, man, he went after me, didn't he? And that's my whole thing about it. The guy is upset because he thinks it promotes hate, and he is getting that out by hating it. It's the most contradictory, hypocritical thing I've ever experienced. It's like he could have said nothing and just kept going with his life. But instead, he's putting himself out there and putting that hate out there. And it's creating an opportunity for him. That's super weird to me. I've never called anyone a piece of shit to their face, I don't think, in real life. Right. Like, maybe, maybe, but like, dude, like, he didn't even use my name, didn't use the band name. And he's saying such harsh things to me personally. I don't know, man. I'm really hurt by that. And I get that it's not, it has nothing to do with me probably no. or anything like that, but it's still like, it's, it's super offensive. And you know, like, I don't know, like my mom's going to read that article. Like other people are. And like, this guy's like really painting me out to be something. He has got no idea what I'm like. He's got no idea what my friends are, my family are like. It's some pretty harsh shit. I hate this idea that everyone should just shut up and move on with their lives. Listen here, fuckwad. When you put stuff out there, whether it's music, art, eh, you know, a podcast, whatever the fuck, um, when you put it out there, you are making yourself open to criticism. If you don't want to be criticized, then don't ever release your shit. Make it for your, fun, your own personal enjoyment. And you, when you finish something, whether it be a song, like I said, song or whatever, finish it be like oh man that's great and you put it away and you fucking just go on with your life and no one will 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 criticize you or hurt your little goddamn feelings kid rock wrote this song to generate heat that's the only reason you do dumb shit like this is to troll people it's a troll so either you're too fucking stupid to see that or you're bullshitting uh in the interview john harvey he keeps mentioning his mom too what the fuck is that what's this mommy's boy bullshit he sounds like a bigger pussy than the snowflakes that Kid Rock bas bashes in the song. Harvey even says he's offended. In a song that complains about people being offended at everything, this fucking dunce is offended at the reaction. He, I mean, really, honestly, the guy comes off as a little bitch. If I was John Harvey, I'd just say, fuck it, man. Just from here on out, dude, go full alt-right. Alt uh, that, that movement is growing in Canada. You're starting to see it. Uh, you know, long after you cash that check, People are going to remember that embarrassing song that you did with a washed up ass Kid Rock. It's like Kid Rock took a long, watery diarrhea all over your living room floor. And probably even something, maybe like, like he took a long diarrhea on your girlfriend who was on your living room floor. It has to be something you care about because you allowed him to shit all over your song and you could try all you like. You're never going to clean all that splattered shit off. Because it gets everywhere. If you've ever had a, 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 a drunken friend vomit on your floor 
or God forbid you've ever been in that position to have somebody diarrhea all over your shit, you know that doesn't just come out. Shit splatters get everywhere and the stains last forever. So to use another out of touch old alt-right term, John Harvey has essentially allowed Kid Rock to turn his band into a group of cucks. That's a term that the alt-right motherfuckers have all misused. Cuck, I mean, if you want, do you watch cuck uh, por- pornography? In cuck pornography, basically a guy sits in the corner and jacks off while another guy who's much uh, more physically powerful with a bigger, girthier penis can really just fuck the shit out of your wife and you sit there in the corner and cry like a little whiny bitch. That's essentially what you've done. You've allowed Kid Rock to fuck your wife. Your wife, in this case, being the song. So thank you for sending that to the email, info at killrockradio.com. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, you can send us anything uh, through any of our social media. We're on all the main shit. Look us up. And if there are any developments in the story, we will keep you up to date. Moving on. <laughs> 